In the presidential, they weren't even administration, in the presidential election, they shut down the Hunter Biden laptop, okay? They didn't want anyone to know about it, and something like 52% of Americans voted said it would have changed their votes in a very close election. Now we've got them doing the same thing before a midterm. Let me remind Judge Janine that Joe Biden was not running in the midterm elections. Now, where did Judge Janine get that 52% number? Here's what she said. 52% of Americans said it would have changed their votes in a very close election. It meaning the Hunter Biden laptop story. So I did some research. This is from Newsweek. Majority of Americans think Hunter Biden's story was ignored by media. The date was December 16th, 2020. A Rasmutin Reports telephone and online survey found that 52% of likely U.S. voters think news organizations ignored the story in order to help Joe Biden's campaign. Now, that is a very different answer than saying that they would have changed their votes to Donald J. Trump, isn't it? Another now, poll that is often cited on Fox News is that one out of every six Biden voters said they would have abandoned the Democratic candidate had they known the facts about one or more stories, one of them being the Hunter Biden laptop story. I heard that poll cited numerous times on Fox News on multiple programs. The problem is nobody would say where that poll was from. So I did some research. That poll is from the Media Research Center, which gets most of its funding, according to Influence Watch, from extreme right-wing conservative foundations, including the Mercer Family Foundation. That's the same group that backed Milo Yiannopoulos, who is probably best known for defending pedophilia. No, I'm not kidding. Google that. And they also funded the ultra-right news source Breitbart. If you like this content, please like and subscribe so you can get more updates on new videos. You can also follow me at my Substack for Decoding Fox News. Most of my content is 100% free. Also, if you'd like to support this project, I have a Patreon, also at Decoding Fox News. And you can follow me on Twitter, Mastodon, Post News, and most social media networks at Decoding Fox News.